morning guys for today's project I thought I would take this I don't even know what it is it looks kind of like an old milk container I know that's not what it is some type of jug that I bought at a flea market years ago and I have been using it for years to throw my spare change into so even though I have a savings account I take the spare change every day I throw it in here and after, I don't know, usually two or three months or something like that, I have a little over $100 in change in here, and you know exactly where I go. I go to the art supply store and get what I can for my um, $100, and it's exciting, and it compels me to keep throwing change in here. But this does not fit my decor up in the bedroom, so what I'm going to do is decoupage this, and I'm not sure if this is oil or acrylic. It doesn't really matter. It's been on here for so long. I'm going to clean this off with alcohol, and then I'm going to take it outside, and I'm going to spray it with a flat white spray paint before we get started on decoupaging it. So now that this is dry, I'm going to take a combination of two different colors. This actually needs to be mixed a little bit, but look how pretty that, that looks just as it is. And I'm going to use a couple of different brushes. I'll pounce this on. I want to take a brush and just kind of carefully blend these and I'm only using two colors I'll go all around the vase and I'll finish painting it this way vase whatever this is and I'll show you how this looks once it's dry Now I want to decoupage this uh, seahorse image, actually this whole picture, onto my piece once it's dry. But I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember where I got this. I did find it online somewhere because I couldn't find any napkins with seahorses on them. So I went online and looked for images of seahorses. And you may want to try the Graphics Fairy. Uh, or there are some copyright free sites. Sometimes you have to pay for these. They said they're copyright free. You pay for the image once and then you can use them again and again for, you know, personal selling or working in projects like this one. And what I'm going to do is cut this out. By the way, you have to, if you're using this for decoupage, you have to print this out on a laser printer. And if you don't have a laser printer at your house, because a lot of people don't, most of us have an inkjet printer, the inkjet will run. I'm going to try to cut this as straight as I can along these edges. So if you don't have an inkjet printer, you can go to any one of the big box copy stores because they do have the self-serve copiers there uh, are all laser printers and laser printers are waterproof you can decoupage with them do transfers uh, what I did before I had a laser printer was I used to take a bunch of copies to the copy center the self-serve copy center and I made a bunch of copies of everything that I needed for laser prints. So let me finish cutting this. Now that this is dry, let me get this centered a little more. I am going to add my seahorse image. I want to try and get this as straight as I can on here. And you don't need napkin decoupage glue. As a matter of fact, uh, regular decoupage glue is the best way to go for this and I'm using some Viva Decor. Look, this is the runniest decoupage glue you've ever seen, but it's also the best. 
I think I can find it on, I, I can post it underneath the video. It's on Amazon Prime. It doesn't show you the bottle. It shows you, I think, uh, decoupage letters, but this is the bottle that you'll get. It's very runny and watery, but believe it or not, it's the best decoupage glue out there uh, that I've found for regular papers. So I'm going to center this and decoupage this onto my surface. Now, especially because this is a laser print, we can do this. When you're working on a round surface like that, and when you're working with paper that's a little bit more firm, it helps to dampen the paper. So I'm just going to go over the back of this and the paper is actually pretty absorbent and it will absorb this water, whoops, and it will make it pliable. And it's a lot more pliable now. So I'll apply some decoupage glue. I'm going to get this as straight as I can on here. I am pressing this down from the center out to make sure we don't have any air bubbles. You usually don't have to worry about wrinkles because it's not a napkin, so the paper is a lot more firm, but you can get air bubbles in there. So while this top part is dry and the underneath is wet with the decoupage glue, I'm going to make sure there are no air bubbles anywhere in here. And now, because I can feel that everything's firmly on the surface, I'm going to take my decoupage glue and I'm actually going to cover the whole bottle with this because the bottle looks matte. It looks to have a matte finish right now and it will show where you put the decoupage glue and there's certainly no harm in covering the whole surface with decoupage glue. I'm going backwards near these ends to make sure that the decoupage glue gets under those ends so that nothing comes up. So I push it towards the end of the paper and then back out. Then I just smooth it out. So I'll finish covering the rest of this and put it aside to dry. Now I'm going to add something triple thick over this. Everything's dry. I put the same image on the back. And while the triple thick is wet, I'm going to apply some glitter naturally because, you know, I love glitter. Now that the glitter's dry and the triple thick is dry, oh, I wanted to mention one thing. Someone asked me once before, doesn't that glitter fall off if you don't put another coat over it? Uh, it does not. There are some little particles that will fall off, but these are on here so well, I, I can't even really rub them off. If you wanted to sand them off, I mean, if you needed to, you could, but the triple thick does work as a very good glue. Uh, for the glitter. So what I want to do is add a little trim and this is just one of those trims I got at the hardware store and it just looks beachy to me. So I'm going to use E6000 and frame my seahorse.
Okay, now I'm just going to let this dry. Now this is dry, and one thing that I wasn't quite crazy about is I wanted something to stand out up here around this area. So I was mixing a bunch of paints until I finally came up with the right concoction that just about matches that color. And I just want to put that around the trim. Now normally you would do this before you put the top coat on. I think I will probably add another top coat around this piece up here. Alrighty, now we're all done. Let me take it outside so that I can show you how this looks in the sunlight. guys that's our video for the week before you go I just want to let you know that upcycle with decoupage is also on Facebook if you go over and like and follow the page you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out so don't forget to subscribe guys it really helps me out over here and I will see you next week with another video thanks again my friends bye bye